Hello guys, in today's tutorial, I will show you how you can highlight text or an object with a brush stroke, just like Journey Harris. So there are so many ways to achieve this, but in this tutorial, I will show you two simple and easy ways to do this. First, let's head over to freepix.com, then search for brush stroke. Scroll through to find the style you want and download it. I will download this one here with multiple stroke style in one, and it is also completely free. And do you know what else is free? Helping us grow this channel by liking and subscribing, thank you. So because this is a vector image, I can open it up in Adobe Illustrator, delete the background, and separate each of the strokes into different layers. Once you are done, save your file. Then next, import the stroke file into After Effects as a composition. Then select one of the strokes and drag it into your timeline. Then rotate it 90 degrees. I will add a yellow fill over my stroke then scale and position it to fit my text. After that, change the mode to multiply. Then to animate this, the first method, draw a mask over your stroke like this. Go one seconds forward, set a keyframe on your mask path, then go to the beginning of your timeline, then highlight the end of your mask and drag it to the left. Now we have a nice stroke animation. Next, let us go the to second method, which gives you more control of your animation. Let's delete the mask from our previous method. Then draw a simple stroke over the brush stroke with no fill. Change the track mat of your brush stroke to be the alpha mat of the stroke on top. Next, click on the top stroke dropdown, then add a trim path to that. At one second, set a keyframe for the trim path end parameter then go to the beginning of the timeline and make the end parameter zero. Now we also have a simple stroke animation. But if you look closely, you will see a straight cut as the brush stroke is animating. To make this look more brushy, let us add a roughen edges effect to our stroke. Then mess with the settings as you like to get your desired result. Now the stroke looks more realistic. And like that, you have quick brush stroke animation over your text. Thank you for watching, and subscribe for more videos like this.